Let's talk about the overview of this program. The Canada Child Benefit or CCB is a payment made by Government of Canada to eligible families to help them with the cause of raising their children. So the Government of Canada will actually pay you so that you can take good care of your children. Information from a family's income tax and benefit return is used to calculate its CCB benefit. So it's not that everyone would get the same amount of money. It does depend from one family's income tax which means the uh, main applicant and the spouse as well. So both the income tax of both of these uh, family, family members are actually calculated to calculate the uh, CCB benefit. It is tax free and the payments are monthly. So you won't have to pay any tax over this amount and of course this is a monthly payment so you can take good care of your child you know every month you don't have to get it at the end of the year or anything like that low and middle income families get higher payments and those with the highest incomes receive lesser payments so this is to maintain you know kind of equality in the social uh, circle somebody who is capable enough to take good care of their children will get lesser amount of money and somebody who is not you know not earning very well would get more amount of money so that their children can still go to you know better places they can eat good food okay so who is eligible so let's see who is eligible so to be eligible for the ccb you must meet all the following conditions so you must live with a child and the child must be under 18 years of age you must be primarily responsible for the care and upbringing of the child you must be a resident of canada for tax purposes so it's not like that you are you've just done the soft landing you're living in your own country and you'll get the ccb you have to be there and you have to pay the taxes also so only after that you'll get this benefit you or your spouse or common in law partner must be a canadian citizen a permanent resident a protected person or a temporary resident who has lived in Canada for the previous 18 months and who has a valid work permit or the permit in the next for the 19th month. The last one, I'm not really sure about what does this actually mean. It says an Indian within the meaning of the Indian Act. I'm really not sure about this one. Let's concentrate on the second part, which is a permanent resident. So if you're a permanent resident, you'll definitely get this benefit. Okay, how much money? And how is it actually calculated? Let's see how much money will you get if you have children. So the basic benefit for uh, this financial year for Canada, they calculate it. You know, they have a certain calculation steps. You can follow it over here. For children of less than six years of age, you'll get five forty-one dollars per month. Mind it, these are Canadian dollars. And for children who are 6 to 17 years of age, they'll get 456 per month. Now, they'll also deduct some amount of money from this uh, from this amount, depending on your monthly income or your family net income as they calculate it. So there's a calculation written over here. If you want, you can check it out. I'll provide the link to this uh, page in the description box. But this is for sure that you will actually get some amount of money and what amount of money will you will actually get we can check it out right now with the help of the online calculator. So let's directly go to the online calculator and check out what is the exact amount of money. The official calculator way through which you can actually calculate the exact amount which you can get as the Canada Child Benefit. So I've already filled this let's just uh, go through it quickly. Tax year I have given as 2017. Let's just go ahead to step two. It says uh, residency. So live in Canada. Province I've selected Ontario. Marital status is married. So you can select you know accordingly whatever your uh, your status is. Obviously the number of children I've selected is one. Given random date of birth for you and your spouse. Moving on, you have to add number of childs and their details here as well so I've given one child over here so I'll just try to move on with this 
moving on you have to provide your net income and your spouse's net income so somebody who's just moving to Canada as a permanent resident I just suppose they'll get something around 60 to 65,000 or maybe 70,000 uh, Canadian dollars so I've given one your net income as 60,000 Canadian dollars and your spouse's net income as zero I mean this can vary obviously from one person to the other I'm not very sure of these uh, two actually they say actually these are the uh, repayment claimed by you, you on your spouse on your tax return so I have left it blank for the moment because this will be obviously for different for different people rent paid you have to enter the how much rent, rent do you pay and obviously uh, you have to enter the energy cost as well how much amount do you pay as energy cost moving on if you do have you know some other details as well you can fill in your details and then move on so over here Okay, it's just taking some time. Yes, so I've given some WITB benefit as a no over here because this is for low income individuals. So again, moving on. So here it will give you the uh, the estimated benefit amount. So for the details that I mentioned over there, the uh, estimated amount is around $4,500, which means around 3,070 rupees sorry $3,070 uh, per month so this is the estimated amount that you can get so thank you for watching this uh, video guys I hope you can also calculate through this calculator uh, how much amount will you get according to your family and other informations so thank you for watching this video please do like the video if you really liked it you share it with your friends and also if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe it right now.